Hello, today we're going to play some four color Omnath. I like this list because it's very simple. Uh, one by Anonymous. I wonder if it's that. Well, anyway, uh, they got first place in a prelim. It's a prelim yesterday that uh, I canceled out on. Uh, it's a very simple list. It's just four, four, four. All the good cards. Four of all the good cards. Four pendings, four bindings. Four, 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 four. And then a chop of these two idiots. And sideboard is some extra counter spells, some chalices, the sages, and some hollowed moonlights. It's a bunch of random stuff. Um, mana base wise, got one. Basically have all of the uh, have all of the traditional, and we have a we have bug triome, and we have naya triome. It's always important to remember which one of these you have. So naya or bug here, plus sacred foundry is always just the easiest go to to have turn two binding. All right, uh, you can also do turn one. Chat mirrors turn to the stuff turn turn to binding. So let's give it a shot. Let's jam into the league and let's see how it does. No, I'm not dead. I'm not here. In fact, I'm here to talk shit. I'm talking shit about stupid Nissa. Look how nice this deck is without stupid Nissa in it. Okay, so turn one, turn two. Turn three, turn four. What a beautiful hand. I'm on the draw though. If they come out of the gates with a Ragavan, we're gonna lose. But other than that, we should be okay. We'll keep this hand. Mm -hmm. Don't play Ragavan. Oh, yay, no Ragavan. Yay, no Ragavan. What's up, Jeremy? How are you? Um, I'm better. Our opponent in the tank. In the tank, opponent is. In the tank. They're on two minutes for a land drop pretty soon. It's going to be two two minutes to the land drop. One minute to think about the land drop and one minute to admire the land and look at how pretty it is in play. And be like, oh, this land is beautiful. It is a very pretty Scalding Tarn. Very pretty. Very incredibly pretty. Okay, well, looks like we'll be doing... Uh, we'll do the Enchant Wordle while they look at their land. How to play. Okay, we're gonna name Nissa the first one, the OG one. Okay, so it's not green, four mana, rare, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's more common than this. It's not a legendary planeswalker, it's not a Nissa. Uh, oh, oh, we got a turn. Uh, play you. I should have played this one, but I was already committed to, to playing this one, and they took so long that I forgot that I had this. But I should have started with this. Anyway, uh, let's try... It's not a legendary creature, so we could do... Ice... Ice Fang Quotal. Oh, so it's stupid. We're, we're gonna... I guess if we get to Teferi, we'll be okay. I guess if we'll get to Teferi, we're not gonna get to Teferi. We don't really have much of a chance in game one here. You never know, I guess. I don't have much of a cycle here, and they can't cycle again. I wonder if we could draw a uh, uh, Solitude or something. That'd be a pretty good draw here. Okay. Okay. All right, Ice Fang Quaddle. It's more recent than this. Oh. So I guess we can go play this, and then we'll play Ice Fang. We could try Thing in the Ice. It's more mana. It's three mana. It's a three mana rare. Uh, three mana rare. It's not a creature. So let's try three mana rare. It's not blue, not green. It's a three mana red rare. Okay, okay. Three mana, not red. Enchantment rare saga. Uh, so maybe it's black rare. So we can do, oh, our opponent has done something. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna crack this and draw. What do we need to get here? I guess we get, I get a foundry, I can't cast this. I guess I get hollowed fountain. 
blue green play the little snaky draw a card okay so i guess we just slam teferi so we could do fable here but teferi is lights out for this deck but they probably just have a counter spell mm, it's tough yeah i think we jam the teferi i think we attack with the ice fang and jam the teferi gotta get in for one oh that's a really good draw all right let's just jam so we need red here for this fable next turn we'll go fable plus jet mirror so let's get stomping ground let's go red white blue teferino all right so they're gonna counter this unfortunately unfortunately this gets countered damn it that's okay because they don't have much of a graveyard and we can solitude pitch the solitude because they don't have much of a graveyard if they were to living end us okay uh ren all right let's get in for one let's hear ice fang and let's play the fable fable and then put this into play tapped if they're going to counter this too one two three one two sure we'll play the jet mirrors garden and pass the turn it's a little annoying so we got counterspell times two Outburst. Um, I wonder if we even bother to do this, right? Because we have Omnath. We literally just get two cards back. And we can just go Omnath next turn, crack, get Solitude, exile the Curator. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, there's no point in, like, dumping the Solitude and then getting back a Solitude. Just does not seem worth it. Does not seem worth it. This doesn't seem like a very good living end. It seems like they need more of a graveyard, but we'll see. <laughs> Alrighty. So this is not too bad. Now we just go Shmomnath. So now we go... Now we go green, red, blue, Omnath. Trigger, draw a card. Play the wooded foothills. Always yield. Crack. Get the planes. Now we play you. And we get rid of you. Alrighty. Look at our army. It's so sweet. Mm -hmm. So we're in a pretty good spot here. I guess they don't really have much. I'm going to block with this so that if this ever dies, I get a solitude back, right? If they ever living end again, which they're pretty likely to do. This attack basically says I'm going to living end again. Sure. I don't really know what's happening. Okay. I get my Ice Fang back. Binding. Okay, binding's pretty good. I get my little ice fang back. That's lovely. Um, I guess I just solitude that, right? One, two, three. Cast this. Boink. Play that. Yield attack. Attack for one. Yeah, one card. I think our opponent's a little, a little new. Don't living end again. They suspended living end? Holy cow. What year is it? Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. So we're going to go... One, two... Omnath, play you. Plus return this... At some point, I might run and six my Ice Fang just to come back when Living End comes, <laughs> comes back. That might be a bit much. I might not need to do that. But regardless, I think I'm going to win this game. Feel good about this game. Feels like they, <laughs> they kind of threw a little bit. 
feels like they kind of threw a little bit. Let's go back to our enchant wordle. So three mana, black, white. So it could be from, what was that one card from Strixhaven? Sparring Regiment. Sparring Regiment. Okay, three mana white, enchantment rare, no subtype uh, from before this. So, yeah, I agree with that. I think the Living End becomes a bunch a bunch more interesting once the new cards come out. Um, so it's three mana white enchantment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Cast the Street Wraith. Uh, yoink. Yoink. I want that. Uh... Oh, boy. This is... Astral Drift. Oh, that was way uh, bound in gold. Almost. It's from below this set, though. So it's like, it's between here and here. So it's probably in that stupid, I didn't play, I guess I played here, but I did not play here. All right. It could be. All right, so let's attack. And let's do our fancy play of killing the snake here. Boink. Play this land. And they're actually dead, I'm pretty sure. No, they're not dead. They're pretty close to dead. Because we get this Omnath back, and then we can go crack, crack, crack for three triggers. And then we can, like, just attack and kill them. Oh, boy. By no means. I don't think that's here. Can Waffos? Probably. I don't know. I haven't looked at his mana base in a while. Alright. So they're living ending. Okay. So let's exile that. Let's draw a card. Let's draw some cards. One, two. They suspended that a long time ago. Yeah, I, my board caught a lot better. They're just like, no, nah, I'm out. I'm like, see ya. You could refuse to? Well. Can you? I don't know if you can once you suspend it i think you can refuse the cascade not the suspend yeah i think you're locked into the suspend uh i guess we're gonna go crack sacred foundry then we're gonna go crack steam vents and then we're gonna go crack reading pool all right, so this is all gonna go away. I'm gonna surgical the seven seven. I'm gonna get rid of the seven seven. I'm gonna play snaky. Draw a card. No, Fable, no, you are not supposed to do this. Get rid of you. Okay. So it's all four living ends. Which, the good news is they won't living end again. I don't see them winning this game, though. I'm not going to lie. I feel as though we're in a pretty good spot. I don't want to toot my own horn, but... <clears throat> Let's cast you. Cast you. I mean, this is kind of garbage time, so you could just do a million different things. What's up? What's up, Mana Symbol? All right, so we crush them. Now... Our game gets a lot easier. Even though our, our deck was like really good at beating them. We don't have crap like this. What do we cut? 
guess we could cut Elish Norn. She's not gonna do much. You can cut a Fable, cut a Binding. Mm -hmm. All right, so we should probably bring in Dolan's Vetoes, huh? Might as well, right? Bring it all in. Probably better than Fables. All right. Yeah, fuck them. We're here to crush them. Maybe I want Fables, but at the same time, if you tap out for a Fable on turn three, this doesn't seem great. That does not seem like what you want to be doing here. How do you counter four living ends? Chalice of the Void. All right, this seems good. We have the old Chalice of the Void. The question is, do we play this on one or do we wait and play it? So I think number one, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just pitching this because I can. I don't want to play this yet because I don't want them to turn to destroy it with the one Convoke guy. Alright, so what mana do we have to get for this here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. What mana do we fetch with this? I don't even think... I mean, I guess we can get the, the Naya Triome here. I guess we get Naya. Just to make sure... Just to make sure we can cast the Teferi. Alright. Well, now we cast Chalice on zero. If you have a f Yep. That sucks. And down. Cycle the Waker of Waves. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, unfortunately, <clears throat> we don't have the Mardu Triumph. We can Solitude pitching the Binding here. We really just want to draw land to cast this to Fairy. That sucks. Um. Okay. I'm going to make them put the thing in play. And then we're going to Solitude Pitch Binding. Or should we Solitude? I think we'll Solitude Pitch Omnath. Solitude Pitch Omnath. If they have Endurance here, I lose. Endurance here would be disastrous. Okay, so we're going to exile this. And then we're going to do two and two to both of these. So this way I keep a solitude in the graveyard. We do get rid of the Teferi. But this way solitude stays in the graveyard. So I don't get blown out by their next stupid thing. Yeah, we're just crushing them here. I always had the worst time playing against elementals when I was living end. It was such a pain in the ass. Because, like, you need to build up a big graveyard so you can't get beaten by a bunch of Solitudes and Furies. But at the same time, then you just put yourself exposed to... Then you just expose your spell, or yourself to uh, Living End. Then you just expose yourself to Endurance if you wait too long. All right. Mm -hmm. Our opponent is at eight minutes left. Eight minutes left. All right, um, Spell Pierce is a good draw. Now we just sit here holding up the Spell Pierce. And I don't think we lose this game. Okay, so we have a three turn clock. <laughs> three turn clock. Hitting for seven every turn. He even F6 checked me. That's so crazy. Very crazy to yield through the first main phase and then try an F6. Okay. Sneaky. Sneaky. All right, get out of here. All right, let's keep. It's an interesting hand. Thank you, Burnt. You're too kind. All right, ignoble arc. Mm. Well, I guess we're just pending this. Get out of here. Okay. So now, if we play Zygoth next turn, we have Leyline Binding. Oh, poor. Green, red. Sorry. I'm sorry, opponent. Nissa, because Nissa sucks. Listen, listen, friend. <laughs> I just want you to be more 
excited for the delighted hobbit soon just trying to just trying to make you <laughs> hyped for it all right i'm not that sorry listen i love yogmoth don't get me wrong yeah stern scolding is pretty is really really good if that card takes off Yogmoth's in a lot of trouble that card's very bad for Yogmoth. Hmm. Hmm. So we can counter this, hmm. but I think we're better off. I think we're better off just finding the Yogmoth that they're going to play and then cycling this if they don't play it. Well, I mean, the Halfling is going to help a lot. The thing is, like, playing that card is not that much different than, like, a Yawgmoth or something. They're going to get... I can beat that. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's cycle this. Ooh, Omnath. Uh, problem is if we play Omnath, bad things happen to us. I guess we return the Triome. Play the Triome, play the Binding. That's not great for us. <coughs> so, the question is, do we Solitude the Wall of Roots? Eh, we'll wait. We'll get the Yawgmoth. Looks like they have board. Why wouldn't they use this for Yogmoth on their turn? I confused. Okay. I think they should have maybe waited a little bit with that one to get Yog here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is Yog. Oh, they just knew they could draw another cord. Oh, okay. Oh, they just knew they were gonna draw another cord. Okay, well, fuck. Let's sag this to this. If I do it now, they could just go infinite back and forth. That was crazy to do that, and then... I guess they had the soul read. They were going to draw the the second chord. Alright, now we got to go... Zap the Yawgmoth. Now we got to zap the Yawgmoth. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> All right, send him to Zap City. Oh, I think we're in trouble. All right, get that out of here. Hit the run down at five cards. <clears throat> okay, our run dies. All right, run is dead. That's okay. That's okay. All right, so let's go one, two, three, four. Omnath, we gotta hit something good here. Draw a card, okay, that's pretty good. Um, I guess we'll get Steam Vines tapped and we'll cast Fable. And then we have to hope that they don't have a Yawgmoth. Or we are in danger. We have to hope that they don't have a cord or a evolution or a yog. Which it looks like they have. Alright, so we are pretty fucked here. So I guess they could draw the whole deck. But they've used two cords already. So we'll keep it going for a minute. Because they can like go down a little bit and miss they've already used two cords so it is possible that they miss here only because we have such a good next turn with the fable coming off oh, apparently yeah that that cord into cord was wild it was so wild i would never have done that in a million years but it worked out it was absolutely absolutely perfect 
<laughs> Endurance. Are they putting the cords back into the library to shuffle for the cords? That's funny. Putting the two cords back in the library? <laughs> I like that. I mean, they could still win this game if they just play Grist. Like Grist my Omnath or something. Okay. You got a link to it? Put the link. Post the link. I think they probably should have put some counters on my guys. So they could have proliferated them. Uh... Alright. We need to draw a Ren and Six. Do you think we could draw a Ren and Six? Because that'd be kind of cool. Oh, what is this link? Oh. Gifted Aetherborn? That's stupid. All right, let's discard. Okay. Let's discard the Seiju and Stomping Grounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, poor opponent. Poor opponent. I think that at like four or five, at like six life, they should have started minusing on my creatures. So they could have just proliferated up and not gone all the way down low. Why is this so bad? I'm just doing it to make fun of Dingo. I'm just making fun of Dingo. Uh, let's put these cards in. I don't really like Leyline Binding against this deck. I feel like it's a bit of a liability, right? Because of Baseju and... It probably would have, like, stopped that. Alright, um... Ice Fang's pretty terrible. Mm -hmm. You can't Omnath your own land. It would be pretty sweet. Uh -huh. But... Alright, what do you think of this hand? This hand, too fair. Okay, we'll keep this. It's basically the same hand. Thought sees no that card's too good. Too good. Solid dude. Uh we'll play you. Mm -hmm. Okay, one triome, then the other triome. Uh triome. To Fable. Oh, well, that's a pretty good draw. I guess I will just choose to draw perfect. I will choose draw perfect. One, two, three. Yeah. Fable's pretty good here, especially if they play like Aggressed. I take some damage here. Ooh. Mm, I guess I just play the Fable. I think I want Stomping Grounds, which I can't get. So I guess we just get Steam Vents. Boink, boink, boink. Play you. We're probably going to need to draw an answer to Yawgmoth here. Probably going to need an answer to old Yoggers. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not good. This is not good. Wow. Uh. I guess we pitch the endurance. And then we play green, red, white. Black pending. Done. All right, we have to hope they don't have another one, or we are dead. D e a d dead dead dead. Boo, Grist. Boo, Grist.
just mm. maggots of the moon jesus okay all right all right i get it that's adorable uh this is obviously not good for us we've been caught with our pants down Just get a yog moth. Get yog moth. All right. Unless we draw a fury, we're in trouble. Yeah. All right. Well, that sucked. That sucked. I mean, if they would have just got like, uh. <clears throat> Turn it back. Would you like to play first? Yes. Alright. I guess this is okay. Alright, so... If they veil us, what are we gonna get? I don't think Chalice is that good. I mean, it's good, but it's not that good. Alright, what do we want? We want... Blue? All right. Okay, we need uh, land. Kind of feel like we just pending, pending the wall roots here. Yeah, that's true. We are praying no magus. Jeez. Jeez. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So we're going to go one, two, three. Fairy. Unsummon you. All right. I'm doing okay. I'm doing good. How are you? Do, 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 do. I think it's a kill Teferi here. No big deal. We don't really care about Teferi. Why are they leaving that up for cord? I have no fear. There's no fear in this dojo. All right, so we're gonna cord. We're gonna get the other. How about the solitude? Get the other triome. No fear of basics. All right, let's go green, white, blue. No basics. No fear of no fear. Uh yep. Mm hmm Alright. Imagine if we had hit another land and we could have just veiled here and then they wouldn't have been able to do anything, but we are not lucky. Alright, let's get rid of this. They're gonna kill this Omnath probably. Get out of here. If we had hit another land, we would win this game, but we didn't. One more land. Oh, well. How does it feel to be on the other side? It makes me... I mean, Yawgmoth is one of the best decks out there. It's a very good deck. It's a very, very good deck. I think people sleep on it. I don't know what two new cards. I only I only know of one new card. What are the two new cards? We're not dead. Everything's great. Everything is awesome. Centaur Corsair. <laughs> We're probably dead. But they don't really have full k kill us. One. Okay. Gotta make them sacrifice a creature. They have to sack first. And then we go, ha ha ha. Ha ha, you have triggered my trap card. Now. 
Do we want Mother of the Machines? What does this do? Doesn't do shit. Permit entering the battlefield causes the trigger to be... I guess we dump... Elishnorn and Omnath. Elishnorn and Stomping Ground. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. These cards are good. All right, let's swing at... Grist. Uh, okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna flash in the snake. Alright, that's okay. That's a good, good thing to hit here. One. Okay. Do I want to cycle this dress down? I don't think so. It's a good draw. That is a good draw. So let's swing, grist, grist. And we will pass the turn, I think. I think we want to hold everything up. Hold up Solitude, hold up Omnath. Hold up everything. This is seven here. Okay. All right. So how do we deal with this? Do we... Hmm. <laughs> I guess we can cast the dress down. If we're going to solitude something, I think we solitude the blood artist. They've already tapped out. Yeah, I'm going to get the blood artist. I think I'm going to pitch cast. Well, the problem is one... Two. Well, the problem is dress down just means they can go to the end step. And then at the end step, they can do stuff. But the problem is... The problem is, if this resolves, they go one, shoot this. Two, shoot this. So I take one... I take one damage. Two damage. Three damage. Four damage. I go to one life. Yeah, I think... Uh, well, the problem is I go to one, Drew, right? Uh, let's let this resolve. All right, now we go one, two, three, endurance. Pitch this. You really need to draw land here. I think I'm going to cycle this dress down. So I could draw land to gain four life. Okay. Now we're gonna go... Guess I could cast Elishnor and play land trigger. Does that work that way? And then I pitch exile both of these. All right, let's do that. Hellish Norn. Now uh, we get to play land, get the double trigger. No. Always oh, yield. Um. Do we use the Omnath to draw, or we just probably just solitude this? All right, let's go. You. You. It's like an EDH game, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go them, them, Grist. Okay. No, my Omneth! No! No, not my Omneth! I wanted to draw two cards with that! Yep. What are they destroying? The Elishnorn? I just want to get a little higher. Uh, attack, 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 attack. Easy game. We're doing 9, 10. Jeez. 
GG's crazy game. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. You hate to see Yogmoth get beat up on. Oh, this is too sketchy. Do we believe? Do we believe? Master Flex, thank you very much for giving out a gifted sub. I don't believe. All right, I, this is way better. This is way more better. Yeah. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. Like, there's a bunch of cards that make that good. What are we cutting? I think we cut the Fable here. We, we got the two greatest best friends that anybody's ever seen. The Wolf Pack. All right. Um... Yeah, this card, like, there's a bunch of cool stuff you could do with it. Like, you could build it with, like, um, what's that one red card? Draw three. Draw three, discard three, something. One red mana. I can't think of the name right now. Yeah, I'm going to replace all the... I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace three Birds of Paradise and one uh, Halfling. So you could do three and three. Just to have one flying Birds of Paradise that you can cord for. Because I think being able to cord for Birds of Paradise is important. So I can get a Steam Fence here. Yeah, I agree. The Halfling does seem really sweet. Okay. We have done our thing. We have done all that we wanted to do. Burning Inquiry, yeah. Like, you could do some really cool stuff with Bowmasters and, like... Burning inquiries and, and stuff like that. Oh, boo. How are we ever going to get that back? Not nice. That's not nice. Okay, so we have some choices here. We can go to Fairy, Bounce, Fury this. We can Pending that. I don't think it'll affect the casting of... To messenger, what what are you talking about? No, uh, let's just kill the Ren and Six. I think, I think the new. Oh no, not really. No, not really. Like most of the deck, it might it might affect Messenger for sure, but like Messenger is not really. A turn three, a three drop, you know what I mean? Like, Messenger's more, like, there to be around a lot later in the game, you know? He's there to be a tool with, like, cords and stuff. Oh, that's really good. Now we can go to Fairy, bounce this, ping that. That seems pretty good to me. All right, Teferino, come join the party. Boink. Bad touch. Obviously, they're just going to replay it, but, you know. It's still pretty cool. We got a little bit of value. I don't think it'll affect... It will affect your semester for sure. But not really the double green off... Uh, aw, sad. Well, they're playing the same list as we are. That's kind of funny. Okay, so this goes up. We know that they have a Leyline Binding in their hand. But I'm just gonna this because it's too sweet not to do so just too sweet not to do this okay so we're gonna play windswept heath and we're gonna play we have all the colors of the rainbow right so we could just get planes here okay we'll get fable I want to be able to binding them if they play an Omnath. Like, we could go all in and Fury this, but they still have binding. So I don't want them to go, like, Omnath, then binding. Oh, okay. They're all on snakes. Hmm. I do think it will make... Yeah, that'll happen. They'll attack my snake for one. Do I want to keep my Teferi alive? No, I'm probably going to Fury next turn. And then I can just... Actually, yeah, let's keep our dude alive. 
Because we can Teferi bounce this thing next turn. Uh, let's discard snake and land. All right, we'll go up. And we will attack. And I guess we don't have double red. Oh my god. How embarrassing. What's up, snap decks? We don't have double red. The shame. The shame! Shame, shame, shame. I was gonna fury this, and now my Teferi's gonna take damage? They're gonna hurt the Teferi? Oh my god. All the colors of the rainbow, and exactly one of each. Solid, dude. No. Oh. Teferi, alright. Deck. The irony. Alright, Teferi goes up. And we have one, two, three. Play you. Do I need to fury these away? No. We know they have the Leyline Binding in their hand. And now I'm molding. I'm so sad. All right, I'm not gonna discard any cards. This can get Sacred Foundry, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Cast you. Bad touch, big bad touch. Okay. And of course, that's true. They are the Protoss, a man of a game of a, a different relic, of a different era. Is a sweet name though. What is in their hand? I guess I'm just swinging, right? I guess we swing. I was I was still the twentieth. Whatever leagues go down, generally, so a league closes the twentieth at one. So I would imagine that's four days from now. So Monday, Friday. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Whenever, I guess the 20th is Tuesday. It's because when the league ends, they'll put up the new stuff. Alright, we're going to swing with this Fury. And then we're going to see what happens. Alright, begin combat, begin combat, attack. Alright, I don't want to play this other Fury. I think I'm just going to play... Hmm. I guess I'll just play Ren in six. Ren goes up. Get a land. Um, I'll draft. I mean, that's the best way to get the cards. If the stuff's worth a lot of money, I'll draft it. Yeah. I mean, they're sitting on that binding, right? Elish Norn? Ugh. I don't really have an answer to that. I guess I do. All right, so they're going to Mother Ruins me. They're going to Mother Ruins and then Leyline Binding these two. Okay. Uh, this card doesn't really get stopped by anything. Uh, it'll go to one. That's fine. So I need Teferi to beat that. This is obviously a problem. Uh, shit. Play you. Alright. We can copy things with this. It's how terrible Jund is. How it's the worst deck? I know it's the worst. I've tried to tell this guy I know to stop playing it. Alright. They're going to copy both Furies here. Hmm. Uh, I will make a copy of a Fury. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy! Mother, this Elish Norn card's pretty fucking stupid. Only have to hope that they attack, right? 
If they attack, uh, I can get the two Furies back. Okay. We can still get out of this. We need an, uh, I don't know. We need our own mom or pending. Powerful. All right. We need, let's thin out our deck. What do we draw here? We, we need prismatic ending or Teferi. Okay. Oh, I should play the snake. No, the snake doesn't do anything. Fuck, 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 fuck. I will play this. And I guess we'll ping this. And we'll yield to the turn. Okay. This is obviously not a good situation. Yup. Oh, Elish Norn is pretty good here. We're gonna have to beat this Elish Norn. But I mean, if we draw any kind of answer to the Elish Norn, we'll be okay. We have a Death Touch Snake. We can get two copies of Death Touch Snake here. Oh good, they've drawn a Solitude. Yeah, it does. Plus we can fetch out the basic forest here. Well, this Elish Norn card might be good. This Elish Norn card might be good. They revealed another Elish Norn. Okay. Okay. God, they're at 42 cards. Okay, so we're gonna go one. We're gonna go one, two, cast the snake. Then we're going to go copy the snake binding. Okay. Now this goes. Now we can go one, two, get back the furies. And then we could double block the Elish Norn. Oh. Uh, they have, a, they have a Solitude in hand. Yeah, we're just dead. Just dead. All right. Elish Norn's pretty good. Elish Norn's pretty good. Um, I think I want a Besaju. Yeah, Mom beat the shit out of me. That was rough. I could do Dress Down, but like... I don't think I want to really sideboard anything. I guess Binding's kind of shit, right? Because it just gets besaju all right, let's just run it back. All right, we need to have... She did some work. She did some work. All right, we'll keep this. That uh, mom card is pretty good. I need something. Uh, let's get... This is green, so we can get blue here. Mm -hmm. Alright. Shackles is pretty sick. You're gonna bolt into their own Ren and Six into pain? Oh, baby. Well, they're at 14, so we're winning. We are winning. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just get the other Trium. Right, what mana? What mana do we gotta get? White, red. I guess we just get. We should get double red. We have double red. I guess we just get red, blue. Come on, Nath. Okay. Okay, and they have, and they have counter. This is fitting room for everything. Can I Omnath again? Can I Omnath? Oh no, 
red. <laughs> I guess the question is, do we want to play this Fury for tempo? I think the answer is yes. Tempo, Tempo, Fury. Okay. Tempo, Tempo. I mean, in theory, we have to hurt them. Are they going to play Omnath? One, yeah. They're at 11, they just can't win. One, two, three, Teferi, sure. Okay. Ooh. It's our best scal, pal. I guess we just cast the mother. And we make all the Lilith references from Diablo 2. Blessed mother. Uh. What do you think about a miser's spell pierce? What do you think? Miser's spell pierce, the turn two, Ren and six? Because I'll draw it on turn 10 million, right? And then I'll be like, why am I playing this stupid card? All right, 60 to 60. Uh, Ren and six. We're going to keep. We'll get Jetmere Triome. Okay. Jetmere, pink, pink. Uh, do we want to risk? I mean, we gotta just jam it. Jet mirror. If they have counterspell, we kind of just lose the game. How crazy is that? Yay. I really hope, I really hope that in this new, right before the Pro Tour, they do a bunch of bannings to like shake things up, right? And they ban Ren and Six. It would really, really, really make me happy. You know, that would make me, that would make me very happy. Let's get white, blue, green. Two, three, done. Okay. Hater, yeah. I just hope they do some shaking up of the meta. Right? Do something to shake it up. <clears throat> One, two, green, red, Omnath. Uh, yield to the turn. Okay. So, we have to hope. I mean, whatever they do, it doesn't matter. Actually, it kind of matters because we can't mom them because we have the Zygote in play. This is our only source of black mana. So, I should have played this at some point, but since I didn't, we're in trouble. Um, <coughs> actually, maybe we just start hitting their try their lands. Maybe we just Besaju Black. We're gonna lose the game because we didn't play this, and then we're gonna return Besaju, and we'll go to their upkeep. We'll go to their upkeep. The problem is if I do it now, then they get the one fancy thing. So I'm not going to do it now. I don't want to give them Eldamri's Call, right? If I hit another land there, I get Eldamri's Call for them. Okay, well that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. What are they going to kill here? Four and three. They kill both our things. That sucks. Alright, well, let's... Let's say do that. Yeah, we get to ending for five next turn. Then we can play the game again. And... 
turned. Now we pass the turn, and we have binding to get this. Uh, do I want to? Do I want to take six? I kind of don't want to have Leyline binding out so they can kill this Fury again. I think I want to take six. I guess we want to wait. Uh, put this land into play tapped. We'll wait for them to crack this so we don't get counterspelled. All right, so now we're going to go one, two. I guess maybe we just do this. All right, so we'll go. All right, well, they have the counter spell. We are actually dead. Shit. Oh, I guess I shouldn't, uh, well, it wouldn't have mattered, right? That sucks. That sucks. If I did this last turn, I still would have. That sucks. I think I played that very badly. I needed to play this Triome. Like, letting them have one turn with the, with the, uh, mom just cost me the game. That sucks. That was terrible. Uh, this hand doesn't do anything. Okay, we can keep this. We'll put back land. All right. Mountain. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. We're trying Elish Norn. Well, we have to get an island and pending that. This is going to be pretty hard to win. You have to make it to turn five. Just got to make it to turn five. Ugh. I think legacy. I don't think it makes it to modern. I think you'd have to build around it in modern. Because most decks in modern just don't draw two cards. They're just not drawing two, like drawing extra cards. Yeah, I could see it being played in some sideboards in modern. But like... Oh my goodness. What do we need to do here? I guess we need to fetch an island. And we need to Teferi bounce one of these. And we need to hit a red card. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe we should have just played the Ice Fang, but that doesn't feel like a winning lines. Yeah, but it's not that strong against Murktide. Murktide doesn't really draw cards. I mean, occasionally you'll draw a card with a Consider or a the Connive guy, but in general, they're not, like, drawing cards. Because the cards now are mostly... Teferi Time Reveler. The cards now are mostly, like... Like, Expressive Iteration doesn't draw cards, you know? Mm. We got spanked. Spanked! Spanked, spanked, spanked. I mean, like, what mid-range deck would play the orcs? One, two, three, four... I guess we want chalices. Babel's probably gonna be... These ice fangs are probably gonna be way too slow. I guess we want this over random fetch. Elish Norn's gonna be way too slow. And we'll cut one of these. We didn't have another red card. Oh, we hit the Omnath. But like if we... Yeah. I'm just stupid. I don't think we were gonna win that game. If I pitch the Omnath, but yeah, I should have just pitched the Omnath. <coughs> I was just thinking about Orcish Bowmasters, to be honest. I made a terrible mistake and I was thinking about Orcish Bowmasters. To be honest, I was thinking about Bowmasters. 
Uh, and plus, like, if we pitch this, we're kind of doomed. Ren and six, huh? All right, let's get a forest here. And let's play Ren. Let's plus this. Let's fury that. Okay. I don't think so. Like, none of the... There's a lot of mana dorks that are just better in those colors. Like, Utopia Sprawl is just better. And those decks don't play that, you know? I think Halfling just gets played in Yawgmoth. And, like, just Yawgmoth. Ragavan Dash. That's spicy. Ragavan's spicy. You got a pending, too, huh? I didn't want to draw that pending. Fortunately, now I can't cast Teferi. I guess if I get a Plains here. Uh, Plains. I can Binding this Ragavan. Yup. Hmm. Well, shit. I guess I just get a forest and play Omnath. I think I'm um, toast. If we play the Teferi, gotta last one turn. Solitude? Okay. I think the the Halfling's gonna be sick in Yogg, too. Yeah, a dork that doesn't die to Renin 6 and makes your stuff uncounterable? Well, I think we're dead. Yeah, but like, what deck is that? It's so slow. What deck plays that? Hmm. Like, the control decks these days don't even play Snapcaster. Well, we were riding high, and then we came crashing down to the ground. Uh, I guess we could keep this. No, Aberration, this is a human. On the other side, it's a human. I remember this clear as day. Oh, it's not a wizard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this till the day I die that these are humans. Once upon a time, I had this card. I had this Stromkirk Noble. And my guy was like a 7-7. Seven, seven, and my opponent had a foreign language Delver. And he was like, on the flip side, it's a, it's a, not an insect. It's not a human. So I was like, are you sure? And they were like, yeah, I'm sure. And then I lost that match because uh, my opponent played foreign cards. And I was like, all right, fine, whatever. But it was an FNM, so I didn't give a fuck. But I had just come back to Magic. But after that, my tune changed for foreign cards. All right, so we're going to get Jet Mirrors. Now we can get Zygod here, Zygote. And then pending the Sigardazade. That's probably just a good idea. But if we are going to do it, we're going to do it during their upkeep. So if they want to use the thing to save it, they have to use it now. Yeah. This was a long time ago, though, at an FNM. So I'm not too worried about it. But it definitely taught me your opponent does not have your best interest at heart. Yeah. Yeah, it was an FNM. And they were kind of an idiot, so, like, I didn't blame them, but they were always just a tool. Okay, so let's go Prismatic Ending, the Cigar to Zade. And then let's play these two, and let's have Surprise Snake. Okay. Let's start trying to fetch out basics. There's probably no point to fetching out basics with them having a giver. The Danger Snake. Stoneforge Mystic. Sure. Oh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Let's get... Snake. Get through the turn. One, two, three, four. 
Omnath. Okay. Uh, yeah. Nah, the guy was just an idiot. He didn't. He wasn't trying to cheat. But yeah. All right. So next turn, we get to kind of pop off here. Oh my! All the popping off. So let's go play this land. Always yield. Crack. Get snow cover planes. I guess we cast giver pending on the giver. Pending on the giver. Leyline binding on that. I guess I fucked up because I don't have another white. I don't have double white to whatever. Mm -hmm. Casting Omnath was weird. I mean, I just get to cycle it basically, right? I had three weird mana floating and I got to cycle it. What'd they get? They got Cauldra Complete. Uh, let's attack. Doomwake, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everyone. We are getting our ass kicked by... We're doing okay. We're playing for the pity chest right now. Good luck at FNM, Doomwake. Hope you have a wonderful evening. They're going to get... They're sitting on... What are they sitting on here? They're sitting on Cauldra. So we'll wait. I guess we could start solituding their stuff here. We have two. So we will solitude. I guess we'll get a stone forge. And now we will be in combat. Be in combat. Attack, attack, attack. Now if they use the cauldra, we have the solitude. All right. They block, block. Okay, we'll do two here. Sure. Cauldra. Okay. We'll do the damage. Now we'll go land. Uh, good. So now we go solitude. Get rid of that. And then play this. Okay. All right, so we're in a little bit of trouble to a pure steel paladin as it stands right now. If they play a pure steel paladin, we are in trouble. I guess we'll keep this. No. Two, three, Teferi. Um, I guess we can Teferi bounce the Leyline Binding. They get back to Sigarda's Aid. And then we have Binding at instant speed plus Teferi. Uh, how much damage is this? And I guess if we hit a land here off this bounce, it's lethal. All right, so we'll try and hit another land here. We'll go bounce the Leyline Binding. Uh, I guess we could still try for lethal here. To snake. Fetch land? Mm. I guess we could still try for lethal. One, two, three, and then bounce. But then we're toast to a... Then we're dead to a pure steel paladin if we miss. Yeah. I don't think that a lot of the new players are going to be buying collector boosters. I don't know about that, though. All right, what do we want? I guess we want Dress Down. I guess we also want Besage You. I guess we also want Besage You. I guess we could cut one of these. One of these. Elish Norn doesn't seem too hot against them. We could bring in Chalices on one. I guess Chalice on one's okay. And we'll cut a... Yeah, we don't need a mother. Yeah, but, like, you don't even get, like... If you go to the pre-release, you don't even get a chance at the ring. Right? You have to buy the, like, expensive shit, you know? 
rum. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I just play this tapped. Yeah, what prizes? Uh, okay. Um, let's put Chalice on one. Our Leyline Binding is pretty useless now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, do I want to solitude this? I don't really want a cauldron coming down next turn. This doesn't stop this. It does. It does stop it. Yeah, it stops it. Um, play steam vents. Pass the turn. We are losing. Uh huh. Taking five here. Boy, this Chalice of the Void doesn't look very good. It's a good draw. That's a good draw. I guess we have to use that on the... We have to use that on the Construct here. So we'll besage you the Construct here at the end of turn. No, none of the cards... This, this set sucks. None of the cards are worth money. That sucks. Do I need to besage you this thing now? I think I do. No, this was dumb, because now they just kill me with Saga. They just get a hammer, equip it. Oh, no, they don't have a guy. They don't have a pure steel paladin. Yeah, the plus, that stuff sucks. Like, you're actually looking at Commander Masters right now. The stupid Lord of the Rings stuff is just Commander Masters. All right, we have to survive this one turn. Okay, so now we go white, red, green, blue, Omnath. Crack, planes, solid dude. Get rid of Frexian. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guess I have to double block this. Guess I could block like this. This thing has first strike, so I'm just dead. I'm just dead. Just dead. Just dead. Didn't really do much. Still lost with it in play, but I think it helps versus some of the stuff. Look at this. It does. Okay, this is gonna this is all we want, right? Ren and six plus besage you. This is what we want. Alright, so this gets red land. Mmm, that sucks. That sucks. But we have Besaju, so who cares? Ren. No, unfortunately I don't. Fortunately I do not think so. Alright. Um I think they wouldn't have fetched this if they didn't have Cauldra. So I'm just gonna kill that thing. Just gonna kill that thing. Then I'm gonna besage you that. Return that. Well, this sucks. All right, so let's get. All right, so we're just we have the besage you. They're gonna they're gonna be able to call dress next turn. I guess we play this. That's pretty good here. I guess if they have the thing, <gasps> if they have 
a thingy we lose. They don't have one. That's good for us. All right. Yeah, there's a lot. Each place is each little town. Each little place is going to be a little bit different, right? Every store is going to be a little bit different with what they have. All right, so let's just go beside you that. Return beside you. Put this land into play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have to watch out for Omnath. The oh. Sage is pretty dumb. The problem is they're a hard cast, uh, they're a hard cast, whatever the hell it's called, name. All right, let's pop. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna keep this alive. I'm not gonna attack with this, so if they do play go land Cauldra, I can block. Boy. Um Guess we just wait. They play a lot of basics, I'd imagine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Kill the hammer. Wow, they're just not playing the one-drop protection spells. Crazy. Yup. We are in trouble. I guess I should have put these lands into play at some point. Why didn't they equip the Shadow Sphere? Bro, what the is this I guess this is on me for not giving this protection oh boy this <laughs> is an unreasonable amount of lands I had called her they would just cast it right mm, they do have it Imagine if we had literally any spell. Literally any spell. But we drew a bunch of lands. Oh well. We dead dead? Yeah, we're dead. Maybe they attack the Ren though. First strike, trample, indestructible haste, whatever this creature, blah 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 blah. I mean... Their stuff has hexproof, right? So, like, there's nothing I could have that would kill their stuff. This is... I did fuck up, though, by not playing one of these other fetches. So I give this death touch, at least. Set all the wreckage. Uh, the germ does not have hexproof. Waiting for stream to load. Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead because I don't draw fucking spells. Didn't draw any spells. Alright. This deck is the same problem it's always had. It sucks. Without having... I mean, imagine if we had Yori on that last game. We could have done nothing. <laughs> we could have drawn one card off the Ice Fang. I don't know. I always hate playing this kind of deck. Every time I play it, I'm like... It's gonna be good, blah, 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 blah. And then I play it and it just sucks. I mean, it has the potential to beat anyone, but it also has a lot of issues. Yeah, I could have blocked with Yorion for sure. Just not having a companion sucks. You kind of have to, I don't know, that was a wild game. I mean, the odds of me, the odds of me getting to the point where I have, I've drawn one, two, three, four, five spells, and it's turn eight. Any chance of a combo Elf League? No, not tonight. Today, I think... I think I'm done today. But I want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, I might play some this weekend. There's no big fancy tournaments this weekend. 
Nothing fancy. Uh, uh, uh. 